Coming up in this week's vlog, we find out the history of this unusual boathouse and we recross the Barton Aqueduct, one of the seven wonders of the canal world. Chris and Jen go walkabout. So, here we are at the Trafford Centre. Which she's been dying to come to for years and uh -huh. years, but they've never moored up. And we find ourselves a mooring in Manchester near Castlefields Junction. We leave the moorings in Worsley after an overnight stay and head down the Bridgewater Canal stopping one night at the Trafford Centre. Next morning we then cruise down to Waters Meeting where we turn left and make our way up into Manchester stopping in Giants Basin opposite the Castlefield Arm. Well good morning everyone. Uh, another day on a Bridgewater Canal and as you can see, this is Worsley. We've just had a couple of days moored up here and now we're moving out. Um, we're gonna try and moor up by the Trafford Centre. Now Heidi on the pirate boat stayed there and she had no trouble at all. And Chris is really desperate to go round the Trafford Centre itself. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. And we're just going past Tony and Jan. They're getting ready to get underway. There he is. <laughs> All the best. This building adjoining the canal with the vertical stripes on the doors is the Duke of Bridgewater's former boathouse. This is where the Duke's inspection barge was kept. The barge once transported royalty, including Queen Victoria, when visiting Worsley Old Hall and the Canal. Since then, the Duke's barge is sometimes referred to as the Royal Barge. The boathouse and nearby footbridge are Grade II listed buildings. We're just passing Worsley Dry Docks and if you watched the vlog when we came through here last time you'll know that these are some of the oldest dry docks in the UK. In fact they were probably one of the first dry docks in the UK. Originally built to service the Duke of uh, Bridgewater's fleet of boats, now open for hire so people can work on their boats. This rather strange looking craft is a weed cutter employed by Bill Paltz to reduce the amount of reed in the canal. You can see the after effects of it laying on the surface of the water. Now going on to the Barton Aqueduct which we passed over last time we was here and uh, just going nice and steady
a bit breezy today, so I'm not quite sure what the wind noise is like. So uh, hopefully it's not too bad. It's actually shaking the phone, so I hope the uh, picture's fairly steady for you. Taking it nice and slow round here. We're in no hurry. And uh, giving Tony a chance to get his video in because he hasn't done this stretch before, but as you know, we already have, so we're not doing that much recording. So, uh, but I do hope you're enjoying the, uh, this section of the Lee Bridgewater Canal. I nearly said Lee's Liverpool then. Nearly got it wrong, but it's actually still the Bridgewater Canal we're on. So we've just come through Patrycroft, and that was, as you saw, the Barton Aqueduct. And now we're on the stretch that leads down past the Trafford Centre and um, Walter, Walter's Meeting. So, based on Heidi's experience on the pirate boat, we've decided we're going to moor up here for the night. Now. We've got plenty of solar at the moment, but the sun does track round to our right, so we will be in the shade later. But, what a lovely spot. We do have a boat in between us, but there's Tony and Jan moored up behind. They're uh, quite happy there in the sun as well for the time being. How sad are we, filming trams. <laughs> This is a novelty for us, you know. It's like as if we've been let out. No explanations as where we are. The Trafford Palazzo or whatever that says. But look at... Palazzo. <laughs> look at that ceiling. Beautiful. So. Here we are at the Trafford Centre. Which she's been dying to come to for years and uh -huh. years, but they've never moored up. And it's, um, it's a shopping mall. It's, yeah, shopping mall for those of you in America or abroad. But it's massive. I might video some of it, but I would definitely not be able to video all of it because my phone battery ran out. <laughs> and we'd be too busy. We're going to be busy shopping. Hi. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. Like I say, we moored up just outside at the Trafford Centre and uh, we've had a really quiet night here. So Heidi was right um, on uh, the pirate boat. It's a good little spot to stop here. And uh, we're literally just going past the junction now. There's Trafford Centre buried through the trees, just through that gap there. I don't know if you can see it. So, uh, whew, it's turned out a lovely day, it's warm, 
however it is a tad windy so we'll have to see how we get on there so trip today the plan is to go down to Walters meeting hang a left or turn to port and then run into Manchester and find a mooring somewhere around Castlefields if we can but we'll see how we get on so enjoy the cruise familiar sight and smells of the Kellogg factory heralds the fact that we're nearing the end of this leg of the Bridgewater Canal and not far up ahead is Walters Meeting so we will be uh, turning left there but it's a pity you can't have smelly vision because the smell of Rice Krispies right now is uh, absolutely superb <laughs> And if I'm truthful, it's making me feel a little hungry. <laughs> but it sounds like a hive of activity today. They're obviously, the uh, production line is in full swing. Shame we can't show you any boats loading up in the wharf here, but those days are long gone. Smell it, but you can smell it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Rice Krispies? Oh, oh no, crunchy nut cornflakes, yes, yeah, I agree. Got a bit of a sugary, <laughs> sugary taste, yeah. Sugary smell. <laughs> and here we are, this is the V Junction Waters Meeting. And I'm just going to sound the horn. Let boats know we're coming out. Can't hear a reply, so uh, hopefully that means we can go. So that's the way we came all those weeks ago from Lim and uh, Preston Brook etc but now we've turned this here way which takes us up into Manchester yeah. so almost new waters but we've been here years ago yeah. but this will be the first time quite a few, ooh, years. Quite a few yeah. years now yeah and here come Tony and Jan out the junction Fortunately, the wind was blowing in the right direction and it helped the boat round. So the turn was actually quite easy. Not being that far from the city, of course, we can now start to see the big skyscrapers of the city coming into view now. I don't think we've got that far to go, but uh, so far, so good. Some call it the theatre of dreams. Some say you should bow and say you're not worthy. I just say it's Manchester United's football ground. It's Old Trafford. <laughs> As you can probably gather, I'm not a football fan. I've never followed football. But there you go. Old Trafford, a mecca to many a fan. And of course, Next to the football field is hotel football. And uh, if you come in for a football match and you want to stay over in Manchester, this is the place to stay. Don't know if you can see it through there, but behind the bridge here, that is the Manchester Ship Canal down there. And we'll be coming up to Paloma Lock, which is one of the locks down onto it. But I think 
Yes, you can just catch it there. And we catch it through here. And there's another view of it. The bridge, unfortunately, is blocking the view, but there you go. Manchester Ship Canal. Hiya Kev, your comment on the live feed is Castlefields and on to Manchester. Is Manchester ready for Chris and Dan? Well, are we ready for Manchester? That's the thing. We did three and a half miles yesterday at the Trafford Centre and Manchester's a little bit bigger than that, so we'll have to see. We're just coming up now to Paloma Lock. This was one of the locks that takes you down onto the Manchester Ship Canal here. As you can see, just going through there. <laughs> the heron's guarding it. The heron is actually guarding it. We're not actually sure if it's in use it's now. Not. It's padlocked. It, I know it's padlocked, so it needs CNRT to let you through, but uh, whether it's actually in use full stop is another matter. Flats, aren't they? They're different. Nice colours. I love, I love the yellow brick and the green walls. It uh, looks really nice. <laughs> I think they are replacing the cladding on these tower blocks. Now, it would be interesting to know if it was the result of the, uh, the Grenville Towers fire that this is all being done, but there's an awful lot of work being done on these tower blocks. A lot of old loading wharfs that are now filled in and uh, redundant. Well there's room to wind and then back down. Can't hear you. Yeah, I'm gonna back down. If I can get round.
made it. We're in Manchester. Well, on the outskirts of Manchester. We're on Visitor Moorings opposite the Castlefield Arm. And uh, there's plenty of mooring space here. So we're only here for one night, so this will do us. The only concern is there is a YMCA building here, or Y Club. So it's likely to be a little bit noisy, but other than that, shouldn't be a problem. That's it for this one folks, I do hope you enjoyed our trip into Manchester. And as always, a special thank you to our Patreon crew and channel members. We really do appreciate your support guys, and we really do mean that. And we'll say, stay safe, look after yourselves, and we'll see you next time on Life on Board Amy Joe. Bye.